Hey guys, so I've got another plan as I go memory keeping spread for you today. The kit I'm going to be using is this kit from Two Little Bees. It is her Hello Fall kit, or maybe it was Pumpkin Spice? Might be Pumpkin Spice. Either way, it's a beautiful kit. I'm honestly like a little sad I'm not using it in my main planner because it's so freaking cute. But Two Little Bees definitely lends itself to more of a white space planning. And honestly, I just bought way too many fall kits and like the next few weeks are gonna be very Halloween themed. So gonna use it in here, but I am still excited because I've been loving memory keeping planning lately. So I, I think her kit is gonna be perfect for it. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start with this beautiful bottom washi. I, it's so big and graphic. It looks very nice. Just getting this straightened out. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do my sidebar. Then I'm gonna go ahead and do my sidebar. I am taking that pumpkin spice quote box up there. I think that looks super cute. And then taking a little label sticker to be a background and behind it. I just grabbed a leftover Scribble Prints Co. Ombre Heart Checklist from, I believe, the November colors and put that in. And then I did another label sticker and then I took one of her clipboards and uh, just used that instead of like I didn't have a weekly ombre that matched very well. So and then I just put a, another label and a half box at the bottom. And the half box I'll use just to track my like YouTube and Instagram stats. The checklist I will use for Happy Mail. So I'm grabbing a little extra from my Nicole Alexia Designs Pumpkin Spice Kit. The red didn't quite match, but I figured it was such a small icon no one could tell. So I just grabbed her little envelope. And then I grabbed a little heart for um, that clipboard, which I was going to use for my meals. So I'll just write those in as the week goes on just to track what I am eating. I think it's probably good. I've definitely, I was definitely eating out. I definitely ate out too much that week. So good to track. And now moving on to Monday, I am attempting to use my X-Acto knife. I am the worst with the X-Acto knife. That's, I literally had a ruler and an X-Acto knife and that still turned out crooked. What is wrong with me? But anyway, then taking from the kit a little circle icon and little circle floral sticker and marking down that we had a board meeting at work. So that kind of took up most of the day and they provided lunch for us. So I'm just gonna put that in. Lunch was really good. It was from a place called Roti. It was very tasty. And then that night we went out to dinner. So I wanted to mark that down as well as like kind of where we went. And so I'm just gonna take a full box to kind of fill in some space and layer a half box over it. I'm writing it over on the other sheet because sometimes just, that's just easier to write. I wish I would remember to do that more. I often just like lay down all my stickers then write in after, but that's okay. Then I took the little meal icon from the kit and put that there. And then I'm layering a flag to write down that my boss called me at 10 o'clock after the board dinner. So that was interesting. That feels like something that should be for safekeeping. And then I put down that I crashed early. And in retrospect, I didn't really crash early, but I was just so tired when I got home that I didn't do anything productive. So I was just kind of like zoning out and then I did go to sleep. Now on to Tuesday. I'm gonna take a clipboard at the top of the day and mark down that I had another, I had a big like, or I had a conference to go to for work, kind of a conference, like not a far away conference, it was local. So I went to that, but then I wanted to mark down that I had to leave that event early to deal with a work, uh, not crisis, but a, something urgent that had to be happened to, so I didn't get to stay kind of for the full time at that event. So that was a little annoying, but that's okay. And then I'm going to take one of these label stickers and mark down that on the way back from the little emergency leaving the meeting early, I decided it was gonna be a coffee kind of day, so I stopped for a coffee. 
And then I took a full box at the end of the day and I'm taking next a planning roses label. Everything else so far besides those um, stuff for the sidebar has been from the kit, by the way. Uh, taking a planning roses label, I'm going to use that to mark down a workout. Oh, I'm doing things out of order. So I baked that night so that I made some banana bread because we had some bananas that were going to be off. So I went ahead and put a planting roses time to bake sticker. And then I just layered that hexagon so I could write down what I baked. <laughs> um, and then going back up to the workout, it's another planting roses workout sticker. I'm going to take a pink one and put it um, on the little label sticker there and mark down that we went to our Elevate Fitness class, which is like the interval class that I go to with my husband. And then after that, um, I, we watched Brooklyn Nine-Nine and New Girl. So kind of a lazy night. It was a nice night. And then on to Wednesday, taking a uh, thing again, once again, struggling immensely with the X-Acto knife. What is wrong with me? And But taking those kind of those longer labels. Those are really nice for the personal size, um, but I always cut them down when I use them in the Erin Condren. And then I had another early work morning, so put in that little coffee uh, cup to signify needed some coffee after how this week had been going. Fits very well with the theme at least, the pumpkin spice, so that's good. And then that night I ended up watching the debate, so I'm going to move that half box down and uh, markdown that I did it's editing and YouTube. I really need to remember not to do things out of order when I'm like planning. It makes sense in my brain when I'm like laying down the stickers because I'm like, oh, I have this sticker on my hand right now. Let me move down. But it makes for bad editing. So I apologize for that. And then to mark the debate, I took a shut up once more with love munchkin because... That's how I felt. So about about one of the candidates, I'll let you figure out who. Um, and so I put that in and then I'm going back and filling in my meals for the week. And I was gonna try and use those little mini hearts from the kit and they're really cute, but they're so hard for me to place and my fingers are just like too big. So I just wrote in Monday through Sunday in letters and then I'm filling in the happy mail. And then on to Thursday, I was trying to see if some of this deco fit, but it's just a little too big. I wish I had kind of saved some room for it. Then I'm taking one of those just little um, like header strips that came with the kit and layering that little fall thing. I just thought it looked cute and I didn't have as much going on that morning, so I put that there. Then I took a Planting Roses label sticker and a Crafts by Towie sneaker sticker to mark down that I went for a run that morning. And then this was kind of a weird night because my husband had an HOA meeting. So I kind of like got home from work, did some filming, and then we went out for dinner and then I came back and did more YouTube. Um, and so trying to figure out how to mark it all down. So I'm going to take a flag sticker. So I used some white out so that you couldn't see the header underneath it. The flag sticker is not showing up that great here, but it's one—it's a little dotted flag. And I took a planner to mark down that I was doing some filming. And then I'm layering a hexagon and a little house icon from the kit to mark down that my husband was re-elected HOA president. Very exciting. Felt like a cute thing to remember. And then we were going out for tacos that night. And that is a sticker from the now defunct... Um, vintage gypsy road shop uh, but I had to use it because it says everybody loves tacos so true so put that in I thought that looked really cute and then just writing in that I did some more YouTube later that night and then on to Friday taking that beautiful full box at the top and moving just had to lift up that little fall sticker so it would fit Taking another Planting Roses label sticker. I've been liking these a lot. I just think they're like a good size for marking out like a workout or just something that something that needs like a little bit bigger space than the than like a little thing, but you don't want to use a full half box for. Taking another Planting Roses workout sticker um, to mark down that I went spinning on Friday morning at Flywheel. 
And then marking down, we had free work lunch on Friday, so I marked down what we had for lunch. It was salad. It wasn't very good. And then I went to happy hour with a friend, so I'm taking that half box and a Planning Roses wine time sticker to mark that down. I really like that wine time sticker. I like using the slightly more like dimensional script icons or functional deco type stickers in white space planning. I think it looks really nice. And I'm taking a strip just of washi at the bottom just to fill in some space. Oh, and going back up and writing where we went. Um, it ended up turning it went well past happy hour time. We just stayed out for a while, but it was fun. And then that is a Little Miss Papery Me Time sticker and a Scribble Prince Co. nail polish to mark down that honestly got home and kind of drunk painted my nails, which was a lot of fun. And then I'm going back and filling in some more happy mail that I had received and filling in my meals. And I'm filming this all on Sunday, or actually, actually it was like Monday or Tuesday, um, but I so I knew kind of what the rest of the week. So I'm doing, I tend to do these like two days at a time. I try to come up, I try to film like three times a week when I'm doing these memory keeping spreads. And so then on, but I do write down at the end of every day. Otherwise I forget. I write like literally on a post-it. I just do quick jot like notes on what I did that day. And then on Saturday we ended up, we were supposed to go to a workout class, but we decided we would rather snuggle in bed and so we had a lazy morning which was really nice and then um, I did some planning and filming that's all from the kit then just taking another one of those like label stickers realizing I forgot the weekend banner but I will put it over the date cover I think and then I wanted to mark out that we went to get groceries we ended up eating lunch there too at the hot bar and then late that afternoon, I went to a yoga class. So I'm just taking first some washi just to cover up that header. I don't know why I feel compelled to cover up the header. It would fit. And then that is an awesome Crafts by Towie yoga sticker. I'm so glad I finally got to use it. She only has a few colors on that sheet, so it doesn't always work with the spreads I'm doing. And it's obviously pretty big too, but I thought it looked so I just think those that sticker is so fun so that was fun so I went to yoga and then after that I just went out to run a few errands pretty quick stuff that little bag is from a glam planner sampler actually so I just went to the dry cleaner CVS and Michaels and did not find any of the new happy planners or recollection stuff which I was totally bummed about but oh well and then that night I took a bath so it was kind of like a lazy night in and that is a Planning Roses bath sticker. That looks a little cramped down there, but I liked how the list worked. So um, I just don't like that the car is off center, but that's me being crazy. So then I just whited out the dates to put the weekend banner on top of it. And I thought that looked nice. And now I'm just taking a label to cover up the header. And then that morning I had like a fun morning out with my husband and so I'm just going to call this, like, I'm just going to write, like, a giant list of all the things we did. And I'm going to use the little hearts, which are so hard to place, to write everything down. So we went to an Elevate class again. And then I'm taking another Crafts by Towie workout sticker. This is the one with the weights. Again, I love these stickers. I think they're so cute. So I was really excited to be able to use two of them in the spread because the colors matched and I had room. Sorry about my head. I find those heart stickers very hard to place. Um, then we went to the farmer's market, went out to lunch, and we went to Target, which if I had to list my ideal morning, I feel like this would be pretty close. It just would have been brunch and not lunch, but my husband is not a brunch fan, so I couldn't get him to do brunch. And then I am cutting kind of down to make sure I have room to fit everything. So I put a full box in, then a label sticker down to mark that we watched Westworld, uh, which is a TV show on HBO. And if you're like a Game of Thrones fan, or if you liked Dollhouse, which was a Joss Whedon show, you should definitely check out Westworld. 
Now I am struggling with how to fit everything, so I cut down one of those long flags to mark down that the Bills lost to the freaking Dolphins. It was the dumbest loss ever. Like, we absolutely should have won that game. I guess LaShawn McCoy wasn't playing, so it was fine, but sorry. Anyway, the uh, I just put down a little Once More With Love munchkin, and this is a Piper Paper Co. lunch bag to mark down that I did some meal prep. I actually sometimes do some meal prep while I am watching football. I uh, just do, like, oven stuff. So basically I'll, like, chop on commercial breaks and then like stuff that just needs to go in the oven for like 45 minutes. I'll just do it while I'm watching football because then I can just get it done. Then I'm just marking down that I did some more YouTube filming and editing kind of stuff. And then I'm trying to fit in one of these My Newest Addiction laundry stickers. So I'm gonna move down the Westworld and just put that in because I thought that looked very cute and the colors matched reasonably well. And so that is the spread. I really love how this came out. I really like that I was able to pull in so much stuff from other shops. Oh, I'm just going through and adding in some deco now. I thought this was super cute and just really like decorative and fun and cluttered in a good way in my mind. So let me know what you guys thought below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to see more. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.